Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act Two. As you can see, Art and I are with our good old friend, Bill Jordan, the progenitor of Embrace Hello. the Boom. It's great for us old guys, us baby boomers. Embrace the Boom. What is the rest of it, Bill? Forget your age. Live your life. Forget your age and embrace the boom. What did you call Amen. me? The, 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 the what? <laughs> Progenitor. Oh. I think that's, I hope I've used that. You don't, you don't, you don't go to not, jail for that, do you? I think Bill is worried, looking for cops. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to get a thesaurus to do a show with you guys. Yeah, I love me, it. Me, Listen, me. here's the deal. I find that I've got, and, and I, I think it has to do with, you know, the age. I just, you know, I remember as a kid, I mean, really, like three years old, I wore the same Donald Duck pants for a year, okay? I'm doing it again at this age. I you find got Donald got Duck new, pants? I, Donald I, I, Duck I, pants? It, pardon me? Donald Where'd Duck you find pants? Donald Duck pants in your size? <laughs> when I was three years old, they fit, oh, believe right. me. But I, my uniform now is a T-shirt and jeans. Or maybe in the summertime, it's a Hawaiian shirt and jeans. That's my uniform. And I've got, you know, three pairs of jeans that I rotate so that I can be in clean clothes. But it's, uh, am I, is this an age thing that, that, uh, that I've got a uniform, that a habit, Art, Bill, do you guys I, have I don't know. I, I, I've got my uniform. My uniform is uh, camo uh, uh, cargo shorts. And, um, I actually have this is I'm wearing right now my third or fourth pair in the last year and a half because I've been losing some weight. And so I'm determined to at some point as I continue on this trail to one day hang them all behind me and do some kind of blog or something about losing weight and have all my cargo shorts. Out. But in the middle, when I go to Little League games and it's in the middle of the winter, out here in Southern California, which is sometimes it gets down, you know, to the 50s yeah. and 60s. I'm wearing cargo shorts. OK, it's got a pocket for my phone. It's got a pocket for uh, my uh, identification. It's got a pocket for my keys. And uh, it's got another pocket that I can put something else in. So and that's um, plenty of marriage with those lovely cats. Right. So every so often I wear a pair of jeans. But normally, as you know, it's only for you guys that sometimes I wear a a, a regular shirt, but I normally wear a t-shirt and cargo shorts and yeah. and you know what? And I'm not worried about being fashion forward. But we have with us today a fashionista. The, <laughs> uh, so uh, you can so, tell about the hat. Well you could because you have evolved. Uh when we first started shooting maybe a hundred episodes ago, you were wearing hats that were frayed. Uh and uh, you were talking about certain slacks and things that were see-through, and you didn't buy them that way. Yes. I so uh, you are quite the type of guy. What is your fashion advice for two old coots like us? So you're asking me to be uh, a sartorial sultan or a or a guru of garb is what you're telling <laughs> Can me. Can you get arrested this for being sartorial? Me? You're expecting this from me? Um, <laughs> yes. I, you know, to, to your point, John, do we have uh, a uniform? Well, Art, you said that too. I think we probably each have our own individual style that if my friends were told, hey, you've got a friend who typically wears this and this and this, and they'd say, oh, that's Bill. Yeah. Um, I have evolved, and I don't know why that is, because I don't wear the cargo shorts like I used to or cargo pants. I used to wear cargo pants all the time in fall and winter and you know early spring. Uh, but I've gotten away from them. Part of it is, I believe it or not, I don't like the look of them. Um, I've gotten to where I don't like the look of them. And I've gotten to where I've embraced the notion of, this is crazy, clothes that fit. <laughs> I used to just, you know, and, and part of this is that men's clothing has gotten on board with the vanity sizing. You know what I'm talking about? The the they now cut mediums maybe a little larger, or they've got larger larges that are actually extra large. Yeah, and Next waistbands that expand. Them, but they yeah. can buy a large, or they can buy a, so for most stuff. I'm between a medium and a large. But I look back at pictures of me at concerts from 10, 15 years ago 
when I was really into the Tommy Bahama shirts or the Tommy Bahama style, the over, you know, the Hawaiian or the, the like they're overcut. They're supposed to be worn out. I did have, yeah. I, I have lost some weight. I was over 190 then, which was, is big for me. Um, and man, the sleeves were hitting me like in mid four and it was a large, I've yeah. donated almost all of them. I've gone through the closet, any shirt that looks like it's a tent on me, I have donated and I'm buying stuff that, that actually fits, <clears throat> um, jeans that slim cut instead of relaxed fit. I just had it in my head. I was an older guy. We're supposed to buy relaxed fit jeans. So I actually went into a men's store in Raleigh number of years ago and I was looking around the jeans and a woman who was working the department said to me, yeah, I think we can do better than what you're wearing. <laughs> Very nice. So I either bought, I started buying regular fit or slim fit jeans. So, but you know what it is, it is kind of gets back to, to what you said, Art, you're not a slave to it. You're not trying to impress anybody by it. But I do like to, if I'm out with family or friends, I mean, I, I think part of it is a little respect. I, you don't want to be, you know, I, I definitely make sure I shave and I'm clean. And so, so it's sort of a self-respect thing and respect for others is you want to look your best. And I'm also pretty mindful of wanting to be an example and for my wife to be proud to be seen with me or at least as proud as she can be to be seen with me. But for my daughter and son-in-law and my grandkids, I want to be an example of, uh, you know, maybe maybe Poppy's got it together. Maybe he doesn't, but uh, he, he may act weird, but he dresses nice. So, uh, Bill, are you, I get the sense that your style has evolved. You're, you're now doing, a, a, what's that, a polo shirt you've got on? This is a Columbia, it's a button down, and it's a medium. And, you know, it's pro I could probably lose a few more pounds. It would fit a little bit better, but it's kind of a, just a summer weight, <clears throat> summer, summer weight shirt. Yeah. Very comfortable. Untucked. Of course. So is that still like the So are you now going for like a victim own look? A victim own casual? Um victim -owned? I'm just no. saying for our audience, they'll know who that is. Well, you know, the only thing I remember about Victim Own is he never wore monogram sweaters. Ah, yeah, no, that's uh I, I forgot about that. <laughs> That's anyway, going back some. And anyway, so thank you for our, you know, we should do a fashion corner every time we, we get together this week, we should have a little fashion moment and uh, have um, uh, Bill just lead us out of the forest into the open. Again, again, no one, you, you two guys are the only people who have ever asked me for fashion advice. This is all opinion. I've got friends who are, are experts that used to work in men's stores and stuff. And if I have a question about kind of an overcoat that I want, I'll talk to them and what, you know, what blends I should get and stuff like that. Well, the reason, but, I, the reason I'm, very, I'm sorry, Bill, the reason for it is that John and I used to live in uh, the Northeast. We were East Coasters and now we're a left coast or Southern California guys. And we've been that way forever. So, you know, We've adopted, you know, almost this Hawaiian sense of it's warm here. But you, you remain, you remain in basically in the old country, and we look to you for that advice because you haven't been spoiled. Well, you know, I, I don't know if they, it's true that they say clothes make the man, but I don't know. That's our packaging, so uh, uh, <laughs> I think it does. It does pay off to. Uh, now, I don't get dressed up. We went out to dinner last night with friends, and I, I wore a, a nice new pair of semi new pair of jeans, slim fit jeans. Ooh. Some, I made sure I put a little yeah. fresh polish on them, some slip on, some loafers, as we used to call them, and then a uh, tucked in button down collar shirt, and everything fit. And I felt good. And uh, I wasn't trying to impress anybody, but you know, going out, I just think it's a I don't know. I just I, I've tried to up my game a little bit. It's just all part of being better in all areas of my life, even if it's how I dress. Um, I'm going to suggest that we table this conversation and part two somewhere in the future will be about the last time you wore a tie. Oh, I, I know. Yeah. that. In the meantime, we remain yeah. boomers. Thank That's goodness it. we can wear whatever uniform we like.
Well, that's it. I mean, you can, you can do your thing, especially in retirement, and you're not wearing a watch anymore. You do what you want when you want or yeah. when your wife told you to. Amen. But Thank in you, the meantime, As a baby boomer, live your life, forget your age, and embrace the boom. Thanks, yeah. guys. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.